Welcome once again. Here we seek to educate, challenge, and inspire you in your journey of construction. My name is Sam Wanyoike. Today I want to talk about Chuma. I'm standing next to different sizes of Chuma. The reinforcement bars or the Chumas are used to strengthen the concrete structure that is in a building. This is because the, the Chumas have a property that complements the weakness that is in concrete and therefore ensuring that the concrete does not either crack or does not fail. How do you know which chuma that you need for your construction? Before I talk about which chuma you need for your construction, I want to mention that the reinforcement bars, the chumas that is, the prices have been on an increase. Right now, the rate at which they are being sold is way more than the rate at which they were being sold a few years back. This is because of the global prices that have continued to change. It's very important for you to take to account that because of the high cost of reinforcement, it is needful for you to know the exact number of reinforcement that you need and the sizes that you need for the reinforcement. How do you determine the sizes of the reinforcement that you need? In the market, the reinforcement comes in different sizes. As you can see, there are those that are a bit thick than others. And of course, the thicker it is, the more expensive the reinforcement is. With me here, I'm holding some different sizes of bars. On my right is a D12 bar or a T12 bar. The 12 is because the bar has a diameter of 12 millimeters. That is the case with a T8 bar or this is a T16. We also have T10 bars, T20 bars and T25 bars which is given reference with the diameter that it carries and I've said that the bigger the diameter then the more stronger it is and the more expensive that that bar is. How do you determine which bars to use at which stage at whatever stage of your construction? Well that answer also relies on the design that is provided by the professional that you are working with. But for a general understanding, I will give an indication of the size, different sizes that you can use at different locations. Starting with the foundation, for a small house will be the D12 bar. That is what is used in column foundations. However, for the walling, strip the, the footing for a walling, you will require the T8 bars and the T10 bars. For big structures, the foundation will be a T16, a T20, or a T25. When it comes to the columns, the column bars will be either T12, which is the minimum for the column, T16, a T20, a T25. For huge structures, you can also have a T32 bar, which is the biggest bar that is available in most shops. For slabs, the main bars that are in use are the T10. That is the most common bar that will be required for the slab together with a T8. However, for bigger slabs, a T12 will be applicable. When it comes to the beams, you will require to have either a T12 bar or a T16 bar and for bigger beams, a T20 or a T25. And, the, and these bars are usually connected together using a T8 or a T10 bar that is called a ring. The ring will be needed in a beam and also needed in a column. How do you determine the number of bars that you require in your building? You can be able to estimate the number of bars probably by using a well-experienced fundi or a professional that is a quantity surveyor, the design engineer. Otherwise, you can also work that from the floor area that you have and that can give you an estimation of bars. 
the storage of the bars will be very important in order to prevent rust from developing so that the, the bars remain in their rightful sizes. The current bars is different from the previous bar that was being used a few years ago because several years ago we used to have the Y series of bars but right now we are using the ribbed bars which are called the T series of bars or in the local Mjengo we will call them the D series of bars. Make sure that you get the right number of bars, the right size of bars in order to ensure that the house does not become very expensive for you. Remember that the bars are very important in strengthening your construction. That is it for today. Thank you for tuning in. Kindly subscribe in order to receive more of our videos. You can also like and share and as we continue to share more of the videos. Thank you.